Fall is my absolute favorite time of year and now is the time that I get to bring out all my favorite lipstick shades. I'm going to be discussing high-end as well as drugstore lipstick shades that are perfect for the fall. Some of them are dupes for one another, but I'm going to start off with firstly talking about what is on my lips right now, and that is MAC Diva. This lipstick is probably the closest I'm going to get to having a soulmate in the next couple years. I, this is, if I had one lipstick in the entire world to have, it would be MAC Diva. This is a deep berry toned red, and it does have a matte finish to it, but as you can see on my lips, it does still have a sheen to it. It's not drying on my lips whatsoever, it's really buildable, and I can put layer after layer on, and I don't feel like it's very heavy on my lips. I mean, look at this color. It's just, it's that perfect fall color. It's that red, berry, deep wine, oxblood red color, and it's just phenomenal. Now, a dupe for Diva that I have found at the drugstore. This is the closest I feel like I'm going to get to it at the drugstore, being a matte finish. This is one of the Rimmel lipsticks, the Kate Moss, the matte lipsticks. This is in the shade 107. Um, maybe I should show you guys what it looks like. This is as close as I'm going to get to it in the drugstore. I have gotten my good use out of this lipstick as you can see. So compared to Diva, it's a little bit more of a redder tone. It's not as deep and dark, but you can always put a darker lip liner around your lips and then fill it in with this color. When it goes on, it's just so smooth. No mess, no fuss with this lipstick and it smells like candy. Ugh, I love it. Now a great lip liner that goes well with both of these lipsticks is NYX Cabaret. It is beautiful with both of the lipsticks. I have it swatched underneath both lipsticks so you can see that it goes really well with it. I'm gonna step into the purple zone really quick and talk about some of my favorite purple lipsticks for the fall. Um, I have three of them here which they're pretty much all the exact same color, just different prices. So I'm going to start off first with MAC Rebel. Um, this is a satin finish. This is a really loved lipstick for fall as well. It just, it's that perfect purple yet still sort of a deep berry shade. It's just really wonderful. Glides on beautifully. You know I love me a MAC lipstick. I do have an entire MAC lipstick collection if you are interested in seeing that. Now, a lipstick that is very similar to Rebel by NYX is this one. It is part of their MAC collection and it is in the shade Aria. And this is as close as I'm going to find to Rebel in NYX. Although it is part of their matte line, I do not find it to be completely matte on my lips. If you want it to be matte, you could obviously set it with a setting powder over a tissue, but the formulation of this is beautiful. It's very highly pigmented. It's a wonderful lipstick. Which brings me to this lip liner. This is by NYX. This is in the shade Deep Purple. On my hand here, you can see I swatched it underneath both the colors Rebel and then Aria and then the Deep Purple lip liner. The shade is Deep Purple, if you're wondering. You can see that it goes well with both of them and I think that it would give you that nice, subtle ombre lip shade. And I wanted to talk about this lipstick because this is such a highly pigmented lipstick. It is so beautiful. Like one swipe of this lipstick on your lips and it's just bam in your face purple. As you can see, it's a little bit more of a redder berry tone compared to Aria and Rebel, but it is so pigmented. This is one swipe of the lipstick on my hand. As you can see, it's just gorgeous. It's almost that happy medium between Rebel and Diva. So that was Cargo Napa. These lipsticks are so pigmented. Go check them out. I'm going to talk about a few lipsticks that are more suitable for the workplace instead of being like this bright color in your face. This first one is the Maybelline Whisper and this is in the shade 85. It doesn't have a name. Oh, Berry Ready. 85 Berry Ready. And I wanted to talk about this lipstick because I find this lipstick to be so hydrating on my lips. This lipstick has a great sheen to it. It's very creamy and I find that you can build this lipstick up really well. If you just do one swipe over your lips, it's a nice subdued shade, but if you build it up, it really turns into a beautiful berry color. It really is that perfect fall shade and it's from the drugstore, which is fantastic. Another product that I find really interesting is by Laura Mercier and this is a lip stain and it is in the shade Mulberry. If you didn't really want to bring a lipstick around with you and you just wanted something simple on the go, this is a product for you. It is more in the brown reddish family, but it is very buildable and that's what I love about this product. You can just take some on your finger and do a little swipe in the middle of your lips and blend it out and it gives you a nice wash color, but then you can also build it up. It's really versatile that way and that's what I love about this product. Two vampy colors which I absolutely adore. 
Cyber by Mac. This is one of them that I'm going to be talking about. Who doesn't love Cyber by Mac? It's perfect for the fall if you want that really vampy dark look. Um, I would wear this lipstick all throughout the year, but for fall especially, it's just gorgeous. It is a satin finish, so it's not matte, but if you're looking for something a little bit more matte, that is where this Soft Matte Lip Cream by NYX comes in. This is in the shade Transylvania. It's a little bit more of a purple tone than Cyber, but it's very buildable, and you can get it to that very, like, opaque, just dark color. So Cyber, like I said, a little bit darker. Transylvania, a little bit more of a purple tone. Ooh, I love these two lipsticks. Cyber does take a little while to build up the color. You can't just do like one swipe and go. It's something that you really need to build up about three layers on your lips and then it's absolutely gorgeous. This is a lip product that I am very new to. It's Gerard Cosmetics Lip Gloss and these things are so pigmented. I mentioned this in one of my favorites videos and I have been living underneath a rock because they are phenomenal. This is in the shade Cocoa Bean. It does have a mirror on it as well as a light, which I think is just very neat. This is a brown shade and I just find that it just, it makes me feel like very fall. It's very earthy. This with a neutral eye, just kind of like smoked out is so beautiful. I love these things. They don't bleed. It's more like a liquid lipstick instead of a lip gloss. It's so pigmented. But speaking of liquid lipstick, this is Stila Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick in the shade Patina and this is one of my all-time favorite liquid lipsticks. It's like a mauve mauve, I don't know how to say that word, shade. So gorgeous and I think it's one of those colors you can wear all year round. It looks really different on all different skin types so really just truly go into the store and try it out because it looks completely different in the tube than it does on, on me or on someone else. Just go try it out because you'll love it beautiful subdued rosy dusty pink shade it's, it's so beautiful i have a couple reds by revlon i want to talk about the first one is this and this is the revlon color burst matte bomb and when these came out it took me so long to try and find these but i am so in love with them this is just a true red just bam in your face and i think it is one of those lip products that if you're looking for a great matte lipstick at the drugstore maybe try this one out it has a roll up twisty what is this retractable it's retractable I think it's just really easy for on the go it does have a peppermint scent to it and if you're new to lipsticks or red lipsticks go give this one a shot because I really love it and one more by Revlon here this is the Revlon color burst lip butter in the shade red velvet and this lipstick I, for some reason yeah these Revlon reds when this came out I had to go to the states and grab it because I don't know if we just didn't have it in Canada or what, but it was one of those cult favorites when it came out that everyone needed it, and I am so glad I got my hands on it. It's really creamy, it's really buttery like the name suggests. It just glides on. I don't find that it does bleed on me, but I do always make sure that I put a lip primer on my lips beforehand. I think this is such a beautiful shade, and again, it's very buildable. You can do a light wash on your lips or else build it up to the gorgeous berry color that it suggests. Those were my favorite lipsticks for this coming up fall season. I hope you guys learned something, you know, got some inspiration for some looks. Let me know if you guys have any lipsticks that you want me to try. I'm always on the hunt for a beautiful deep red burgundy berry color, so let me know in the comments down below. You can follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Bailey Vanderbeen. Please subscribe, and I will see you guys later. Bye.